Well, this is a tranquil little scene I've come across. Plenty of water. You can hear all the birds and ducks. And then on the far side over there, you can see what I assume is a church and that house there. And I'll, I'll make those the focal point of the painting. And if I can just avoid all this bird muck everywhere, I'm going to head back to the car. And you can see my outdoor setup. Got me a 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper, £130. Clipped to this piece of plywood, rested on me a uh, box there, uh, easel box. And then the usual palette. I've always got the colours in the same place so I know exactly where they are. Ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarding crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. I've got the tea towel for taking the excess water off the hake which is down here in the water jar. Also with a three quarter inch flat for doing buildings and fence posts and all this that stuff. And then a number three rigger for the little twigs and branches and grasses. So this is just clean water I'm putting on. All the way down. And then just dipping the tips in just to bring the ears back together. Raw sienna. All the way down to the bottom. Clean the brush. Take the excess off. And then simple sky, ultramarine. Maybe introduce a bit of Payne's grey as well. It's getting a bit overcast. A bit of Payne's grey into it. And then This will be water at the bottom, so just reflect some of that cloud into the water. And that's just a very simple sky. Now, that church is going to be the focal point. So, I, I could do with waiting for that to dry, but I'm just going to crack on with it. So, to compensate, I'm going to use as little water and as much paint as I possibly can so I don't get any any sort of blurring so I'll see how I get on anyway Raw Sienna, Ultramarine, Payne's Grey and then just looking to see where the church is if I put it about well that's going to be the horizon and then if I put the church about about there Don't come down too far because the uh, it's like a little spire thing popping out of it. I'm not going to come down too far because it's it's a it's covered up by the trees. And then maybe just below that, let's go for a bit more raw sienna. There's this little there's the roof of this house. Another thing just up there. There's like a little chimney there. There's like another chimney over there. And there's some trees again obscuring all that. So I'll just put the windows in. There's a sort of like a something down there and then I'll, I'll just pop a summer in there as well just to make it look like a house there's also like a little so 
put uh, like a little porch or something over it and again it's like a and I think I'll leave that as far as the buildings are concerned I'll leave that like so and now I'm gonna switch back to the hike and I'm gonna go for me sort of greeny colours so I'm going raw sienna lemon yellow bit of uh, ultramarine and then where shall I start I'll start on this right hand side I'll only go so far because we've got there's a tree there so I'll I'm just gonna go up to about here and I'm just gonna keep keep flicking between the three raw sienna lemon yellow burnt umber just keep varying it and that's gonna come down a bit too much just working out where the actual uh, water line is and if I make that trees and bushes and stuff and they're sort of giving up around here something like so and then off into the distance onto that far bank over there and just keep varying the colour Something like that, and use a fingernail just to flick in a few trees and a few bushes. That'll do. Very easy to overdo. If you do too many, you lose the effect of it, it just ruins it completely. Then maybe down there, just a bit of, a bit of burnt umber. Suggest these uh, the, the sort of mud the along the bank there, just a tad more. So maybe a few little bushes. 